this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by Lee Bear. Good morning, Lee Bear. You can have an egg. There we go. Don't say that I don't treat you nicely. And I am also going to be joined by Squishy Quack. Squa Squishy? Squishy? Squa where are you, Squishy? Oh, here she is. Come on. This is the day, Squishy. This is the day where you're finally going to fly. Flap your wings and soar through the air. Ow! That, that was just landing on my face. That's not quite the same. <laughs> Keep practicing and eventually, Squishy, I'm sure you'll be able to fly. Anyway, we might not be able to fly now, but we can eat. And uh, today the uh, the food on the menu is cake. And so let's have ourselves a nice big tasty cake for breakfast. And oh, I'm not hungry enough to eat the entire thing. Let's go for a, a few laps of the, uh, the, the landing and then I should be uh, hungry enough. There we go. That uh, just about did it. Uh, I've now emptied out my stomach slightly and I can go now and <gasps> nom 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 Ah, absolutely delicious. Right then, let's go straight off and head over to the, the love garden uh, so I can let you all know uh, who is the uh, the new person that I'm adding to it. And uh, just in the uh, the chance that this is the, the first episode of my lovely world you've seen and you don't know what my love garden is, uh, basically at the start of all of my episodes, uh, I say hello to, to someone and uh, add a sign in my love garden with their name on. And uh, yeah, basically just say, uh, you're a cool person and uh, I want you to be in my world. And today's cool person is Jack. And as for a few reasons, uh, he's got an amazing Stampy Cat face paint, uh, which is a uh, really cool. Uh, he's also made a uh, uh, a cutout of myself and Squid, and he's wearing a Stampy Cat t-shirt as well. So uh, it's kind of three different reasons uh, why I added him to my love garden. So definitely a very deserved person to be added. Deserved? I don't know if deserved's a word. Deserved might be a word, but it might not be. But oh well, you know what I mean. <laughs> and uh, if you uh, didn't know, uh, there is only one rule to my love garden for, for being added, and that is that you are not allowed to ask to be added. That's the, the only rule uh, to do with my love garden. And hello, <laughs> hello Harriet, how, how, how are you doing today? Gone for another little bit of a wonder. She's getting very adventurous recently. I don't know, maybe she's just lost her house. It's up there on the, the hill, Harriet. You can't miss it. It's absolutely huge and on the top of a big uh, a big hill. <laughs> anyway, it's time for the, the race to the doghouse. And this is where we all race to the doghouse. And uh, whoever gets there first, uh, gets to pick which dog uh, we are going to, to have joining us in our in our video. And uh, today, we are going to have a very slow race. It's basically who can be the slowest, fastest, if that means. Basically, we're all going to be slow anyway. Uh, but yeah, we've got to try and be slow as fast as we can. And that is because if we have ourselves a look over here, I have uh, covered my path with soul sand. And uh, yeah, you can see you walk very, very slowly on the, the soul sand. And the rule is, once you're on the, the soul sand, you're not allowed to jump. You have to just walk across the, the soul sand and if that wasn't bad enough I have also made a slowness potion so we are going to be even slower so it's going to be a slow race uh, but yeah we still need to be as fast as we can so everyone uh, come and join me over here by the uh, the entrance to my love garden uh, we need to start off by jumping through the the heart we need to walk over the the soul sand and then the first one into the the dog house is going to to be the winner so everyone gather close come and leave there get close we all gonna get splashed <laughs> and the the second that we're splashed the race will begin so let's go and uh, throw this in the air and oh there we go we're splashed already and I can't see a thing. <laughs> I was stuck inside of Squishy and uh, they are off uh, way faster than me. So let's go and uh, try and make up some time if we can. I'm allowed to jump here. It's only on the, the soul sand uh, that you're not allowed to, to jump getting on the soul sand. And there we go. I jumped onto the, the soul sand, uh, but now I'm on it. I am not allowed to do any more jumping. And uh, I told you this was going to be a, a little bit of a, a slow race. <laughs> Look at my legs really slowly going one after the other, one after the other, trying to gradually get forward. <laughs> it looks like Lee Bear, though, uh, has a, a really good lead uh, over over me and Squishy. So he's definitely going to have a, a good advantage uh, once we uh, get off to the uh, the soul sand uh, on the, the other side. Uh, but he does have to open the gate. I might have a chance to catch him up. No! He shut the gate behind him as well. That's no fair. And it all looks like the uh, the slowness has worn off. But yep, Lee Bear was the winner. He was very fast, even though he was actually very slow. <laughs> anyway, what this means is that Lee Bear can choose uh, which dog 
uh, will be joining us in uh, in today's episode. So, uh, what do you fancy, Lee Bear? Who do you want to, to have joining us? Uh, Fluffy. Uh, he wants to have a uh, Fluffy joining us, and Fluffy is where? Where is Fluffy? Fluffy. Here's Fluffy. Uh, sitting here uh, on the uh, on the um, the little staircase here, so Fluffy, uh, you can come and you can join us in uh, in today's episode. And I've realised I've not really told you uh, what it is that we're going to to be doing today. I am going to uh, once again try to completely build a mini game in one episode and I'm not sure if we're going to be able to just because of how slow we were earlier <laughs> doing the uh, the doghouse race uh, but that is what the the plan is anyway we're going to try and uh, as much as we can uh, build one mini game in one episode and the mini game is called Castle Crumble and uh, the idea of the uh, the game is uh, there's going to be two uh, platforms inside of a massive sand castle, and basically uh, you get one stack of sand to build a sand castle. You then need to place either inside or on top or anywhere you want uh, around the the castle uh, one block of wool, and then the other person is going to be doing the the same thing, and you then take turns attacking the other person's castle until you get the block but you can't choose the way you attack. Basically, there's going to be a dispenser uh, full of different items, and uh, one of the items uh, is going to mean that you're allowed to break a block, one is going to mean that you're allowed to place a block, one is a torch, which means that you can destroy a block and place a torch, uh, which will uh, destroy an entire column, and then the other one uh, means uh, that you can either break or place uh, a block on your own castle. So it's basically random uh, in terms of what you're able to, to do. And uh, you take turns pressing the uh, the dispenser and getting whichever item pops out uh, until uh, we have a, a winner. And the way you win is uh, by getting the uh, the block uh, that belongs to the uh, to the other person. So uh, hopefully that makes sense. It's a pretty simple game. Uh, in fact, uh, the reason why we're able to, well, hopefully uh, able to, to do it in one episode is the fact that there's no move moving parts really. There's no redstone, there's no mine carts, there's nothing like that. It's basically going to be a big sand castle uh, with a, uh, a couple platforms in. Uh, the only thing that kind of resembles anything slightly complicated uh, is the um uh, it's just the other uh, little dispenser, and oh, <laughs> it looks like Squashy and Lee Bear got it way before me, and they're having a, a little bit of a, a rest on this uh, bench here. Right then, they look a little bit bored, so I guess it's time uh, to, to get started uh, started building then, shall we? Uh, we have no more time to, to rest. If we want to get this done in one episode, we need to build fast. So I think the uh, the first thing we need to do is to, to build uh, the, the sand castle itself. So uh, I know I'm building a sand castle, and you might be saying, wait a minute. This isn't sand, that's yellow wall. And that's because uh, the outside of the game uh, is going to be yellow wall. And it kind of will look like sand. Uh, but uh, the reason I don't want to do it all sand is because the uh, the actual castles we do in the game are going to be uh, made out of sand as well. And I just didn't want things to get too confusing. I think if it was all just made out of sand, uh, it would just get a, a little bit confusing uh, in terms of which part is the, the game and which part uh, is the other uh, walls on the, the outside of the game. So uh, basically it will kind of look like a, a sand castle on the, the outside, uh, but on the inside uh, will be the the real sand castles and even though uh, we're calling them sand castles they don't have to necessarily look uh, like real castles they can basically be kind of whatever shape you want so uh, you could maybe build like a, a tower you know, as, as high as you want, and uh, then put the, the block on the top of the, the tower, but then that's a bit risky in case they get the torch and they can destroy the, the whole tower. Or you could build like a, a dome and hide the block in the middle of the dome. So basically, uh, the big strategy is in terms of how you build, uh, as well as how you try and destroy their one. Uh, so yeah, these are little arenas here. Uh, this needs to be 10 blocks by 10, so let me just count this and check. It should be 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then if I go along here like that, that will make our, our square. Uh, so this is the the building area. Uh, so it's actually eight by eight, I think, on the the inside, or, no, or nine by nine. Sorry, I think it is on the the inside. And then, yep, this is the uh, the one on the other side there. And uh, this little bit here in the middle, uh, this is just going to to be yellow wall. And uh, this is where the uh, the dispenser, uh, as well as the uh, the chests, are going to be, uh, which has uh, all of the the sand in. And uh, we're also uh, going to have a uh, an entrance to the the sand castle that is going to be there. And also uh, something else we're going to have is a moat. Any good sand castle uh, needs uh, a moat. Whenever I build a sandcastle. I always make sure that I include one. Uh, so we're going to do one of them around the outside just to look cool uh, when people are, are walking by, just to uh, make it look like a, a cool game uh, that people are going to, to want to, to play. So uh, we're going to fill in the um, 
Uh, the middle here is going to be filled in with uh, sandstone because uh, I didn't want the uh, once again I didn't want the the floor to be sand because uh, I thought it'd be uh, a little bit confusing. Uh, but sandstone's pretty close to sand, so I thought this would uh, make a, a pretty cool arena. So this is basically the main parts of the game that we needed: just these uh, two arenas and then big piles of sand. But uh, the rest of the uh, uh, the time is just uh, to decorate it uh, to make it look cool. So uh, Lee Bear, if I leave you to to build up uh, these walls, I'm going to go and uh, start marking out uh, where we want the uh, the most to be so I think if we just do it uh, if we do two blocks I think uh, around the the entire outside here and uh, if we dig uh, uh, if we dig a few blocks down and then fill all of the the inside uh, with uh, with the yellow wall as well uh, so it looks like sand and then at the the very front over here I could build like a, like a drawbridge uh, so it looks like uh, you're using a, a drawbridge uh, to get into the the actual game so let me just go and uh, dig around the the entire outside and tell you what fluffy you can come and you can have a run around seeing as we're not building anything tall today uh, you don't need uh, to sit in the corner the only thing I will say is while I'm swinging my tools please do resist the temptation to jump in front of me. What is it with the second that you get an axe or something and you're cutting a tree or trying to mine, all of your animals decide that's the best time to dive in front of you. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know. They just like the, the swinging tools for some reason. They get attracted to them. Maybe they think you're trying to play fetch or something when you're swinging it. There we go. Fetch the shovel. Fetch the shovel. Nope, okay, I'll fetch the shovel myself then. <laughs> and oh, I realise that we need uh, we need an opening here, don't we? We need uh, to have a, a gateway uh, in this area around here. So let me go and uh, uh, dig this uh, away here. Now, I guess we'll do these uh, three blocks here. I guess this can be a bit of an entrance here. And uh, if we do it like that, uh, so it's not a uh, completely uh, like a complete square. Then if we build everything uh, one block high. Oh no, Lieber, uh, we need to do the, the castle a little bit higher uh, before we start making it look a little bit more like a castle. So if we do uh, all of the, the walls uh, four blocks high, and uh, then we can go around the uh, the top uh, doing the, the decoration like uh, Lee Bear was uh, just to make it look like an actual proper castle rather than a big yellow lunchbox or, or something. <laughs> and it's also uh, just about to, to become night as well. So it might be a, a good idea uh, to, to make a, a few beds just so we can have a have a nap somewhere so uh, we don't get our, our lovely sand castle uh, blown up by any of these googlies. And you know what? I think we're making some pretty good progress here. I do not want to, to tempt fate, uh, but I think we're actually making some pretty awesome some progress and there is actually a good chance uh, that we are going to be able uh, to build this mini game in one episode. I think I've only done that once before and that was with the uh, the sheep shuffle game and uh, you can kind of just about see it in the, the distance there. That was uh, another mini game uh, which I was able to build in just one episode and I was very proud of myself and I set myself a challenge uh, to, to be able to, uh, to to do that again. So that is what I'm trying uh, to, to do here. So uh, I kind of need to, to change the pattern a bit uh, just so it fits in uh, around this end here and uh, yeah let's, uh, let's all try and go to to bed now. Lee Bear, can you go and uh, uh, make us a, a few beds? And uh, while you do that, I'm going to go and uh, spread some torches around the place uh, just to, to light it up for now, just so uh, we can carry on seeing what uh, uh, what it is that we need to do. And uh, something else that might look quite cool uh, is to add some flags in. Uh, in the in the morning, uh, we can go and add some flags into the the corners, and uh, there'll also be a, a good way uh, to mark uh, which sides uh, people's teams are. So on this side, uh, we can have some some blue flags, and on the the red team uh, side over there, uh, we can have some some red flags. So then that way, uh, yeah, we know what side uh, it is that we need uh, to go for. And then when people are watching, uh, they can kind of wave the the flags in the in the air and root uh, for whichever team they want. So let's uh, uh let's all go to to bed now. It looks like Lee Bear's made some beds. Oh, and he's made us some breakfast ready for in the the morning as well. <laughs> okay, Squishy, do you want to come and join us? And oh no, Squishy's full. She's stuck in the moat. Tell you what, Squishy, I know what I'll do. <laughs> if I go and uh, fill a little bit of the, the water into the, the moat for now, only a little bit, and then you can uh, use that uh, to go and uh, swim back out. And it uh, looks like we're having a uh, quite a, a deep moat here. There you go, Squishy. Squishy loves the water. She can go and uh, try and swim out. And there we go. Uh, we can now all go to, to Betty Buys. And just in good time as well, because I saw in the, the background uh, that some of the, uh, the Google Googlies are already starting to, to appear, which is <laughs> uh, something that we might need uh, to, to worry about a little bit. Uh, right then, uh, let's now go and uh, build the uh, the drawbridge then, shall we? If I go and uh, build it out like this, uh, then that way all we need to do is uh, go and jump up here. Well, tell you what, if I make it the, the same pattern um, as it is there, uh, but at the, the end I could do a, a staircase because the, the entire castle is slightly raised and whoa! What's going on here, Lee? There we go. It looks like Lee's done it anyway. So, uh, yeah, then that way, uh, when you go and uh, and walk up, uh, you just go up the, the stairs. And you weren't breaking wood with a pickaxe then, were you, Lee Bear? 
You know you should never break wood with a pickaxe. <laughs> there we go. Always use the the right tool for the the job. Anyway, let's go and uh, carry on building. So that's it. I was gonna do some um, I was gonna do some flags, wasn't I? Let's go and uh, make some fences uh, because they make uh, absolutely amazing looking uh, fence poles. And uh, let's go and uh, add the the flags. And the flags can also serve a purpose uh, rather than making it so you can build endlessly high. Uh, what I think we'll do is make a rule. Uh, that you're not allowed uh, to to build uh, higher uh, than the the top of the the flagpole. Oh, this doesn't look right. That looks a little bit wonky. There we go. That side looks okay, uh, but this side's looking uh, a little bit wonky. So I might as well uh, go and fix this while I'm jumping up as well. Whoop! There we go. I was able to jump up there. I think this block uh, needs to be broken away and then placed on this side. And then is this right? I think this might be wrong again. Let me see how it is on the other side. So I need a gap of two and then two blocks there. And then there should be a gap of two and then this one here. There we go. Uh, that's the way it should be. All right, then let's go and uh, build in these um uh, these flags. I think I'll go, I'll go three blocks up, I think. Uh, can I jump on here? Nope. Uh, I guess if I just place them from the side, I'll go one two and then if I pile up a little bit I can go and do the the third one and then we can go and add the the flag going out and uh, as I said this side is the the blue side uh, so we need a, a blue flag and all I'm going to do as I go out a little bit like this and uh, then this is going to look like a flag and uh, the important thing uh, when building flags is to make sure they're always pointing in the, the same direction uh, because they're supposed to be flapping around in the, the wind uh, if uh, some are facing one way and then some are facing the, the other way it uh, looks like the wind's all over the place and the wind always blows in the, the same direction uh, so you just want to make sure uh, that uh, to make it look realistic uh, all of the, the flags are facing the, the same way so if I build this flag pole up here uh, I then go and get this wall I'm going to go and build it out uh, the, the same way as I did the the other side and then Lee Bear should hopefully uh, do the the same uh, on the the side that he's on so there we go uh, there's this flag here it uh, looks like Lee Bear's beginning building the the flags over on that side there and so while he's doing that I'm going to go and start building uh, the rest of the uh, the actual mechanical uh, side of the the game down here so uh, what we basically need is a uh, two chests uh, as well as the the dropper so uh, let's go to the the crafting table here and uh, let's go and try and make everything we need so if I make some wooden planks I can go and make myself uh, a couple chests and uh, I've also got some redstone on me uh, as well as some um, uh, some cobblestone uh, so I have everything I need uh, to make a dropper uh, so I can go and place these down and then I just need to, to fill the chest uh, with all of the, the sand I've got and all squishy uh, seeing as you're doing lots of digging and getting lots of sand do you want to do you want to pass me any of the the sand that you have and I can go and uh, fill in the the chest I only really have room for for two stacks but that should be uh, enough for now uh, because each team has only allowed uh, to build uh, out of uh, out of one stack and whoa squishy has a lot <laughs> of uh, sand on her so maybe later on uh, she can go and fill up these chests uh, so that we never run out so uh, we've got one stack of sand in here well let's put two in this side and then let's put as many in here as we can in this side as well there we go a whole load of sand and then in the the middle here uh, we can go and place down our dropper and uh, now I just need to fill this uh, full of all of the, the items that are going to go in here and oh I forgot my breakfast I forgot there's cake sitting right here and I ran right past them nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I think this might be Squishy's breakfast sitting down here she loves eating seeds I don't know what the, the flowers are but she loves eating seeds all right then uh, let's go and fill up the uh, the uh, the dispenser then so uh, actually I need to grab some sand because uh, one of the the items is going to be sand because sand is going to represent uh, when you're able uh, to b uh, place a block on the the other person's castle and the reason you'd want to place a block is say if there's a, a big wall and you want to climb over it if you place a, a block you can kind of build a, a staircase uh, to get up uh, so it is quite handy and then uh, what I'm going to use to represent breaking a block is actually going to be sticks uh, I can't use uh, shovels or anything like that uh, because you can't stack them up and uh, sticks are really easy to, to make uh, so the way I'm going to represent breaking a block uh, is sticks and there's going to be more sticks in there uh, than any other items let's go and uh, grab some of these and uh, I think I'll do uh, I do three so basically the more uh, boxes that are filled with an item uh, the more likely it is uh, that that item's going to, to come up and seeing as the, the main thing you're going to be doing is uh, destroying the blocks I want more sticks uh, than anything else but I do have a little bit more room and the other thing I need to add is the, the torches as so if I put the, the torches down here uh, that means you can destroy a whole row and then the, the other uh, thing I'm going to do is uh, actually let's add, a, let's add a little bit more sand uh, just so you can do that as well and then the, the last one is I'm going to make some redstone torches and uh, the redstone torches 
characters are basically going to be able to represent uh, when you're able to either build or place a block on your own castle. And it's up to you uh, whether you want to, to build or place a block. As uh, so if I go and uh, fill the, the final gap here uh, in with the, the redstone torch, uh, that basically completes the, the set. Uh, so the, the final thing I need to do here is uh, to go and make myself uh, a little button. Uh, so basically when I press it, uh, there's a chance I'm going to get either sand, uh, sticks, a uh, redstone torch or a, uh, a normal torch. If I press it, I got a stick, uh, which is going to be uh, the, the most likely thing you are going to get, uh, simply because there's more places taken up with sticks uh, than anything else in the, the dispenser. So uh, we'd basically just be uh, taking it in turns, uh, pressing the, the button and uh, waiting for, for everything to, to come out. And then that's how we, we play the game. Uh, right then, uh, let's go and see how things are going with the, the mode. It looks, looks pretty good. Uh, rather than uh, keeping all the, the, the normal dirt and sand, uh, we've been uh, destroying it and filling it in uh, with all of this, uh, this yellow wall, which uh, should make it look better. So I'm going to go and uh, help out now and uh, carry on uh, filling in all of these walls. Actually, I think I'm just getting in the way. Sorry, Squay Sheep. Sorry, you had it covered until I arrived, didn't you? <laughs> Let's go and start filling all of this in. And then the, the final thing we need to do is, of course, add the, the water. At the moment, we have a very nice pit around the outside of the castle, but we don't want a nice pit. We want a nice moat. And uh, to have a moat, it needs to be filled with uh, with water. So I've actually got uh, some water buckets on me as well, uh, so I could start uh, filling them up and uh, pouring things in. Actually, we should probably add the, the wall in first, because otherwise uh, things might get a, a little bit messy. And actually something else that I could do is uh, finish off the, the drawbridge to make it actually look uh, more like a, like a drawbridge. I think I need to, if I break away these stairs here, uh, because otherwise it looks like it won't fit uh, when it shuts, uh, I can then uh, go and uh, add in some yellow wall down here. Then if I add some fences, uh, maybe that will look uh, like that is how things get, it gets like uh, lifted up and down, maybe? Do you think that's what it will look like? That looks cool, actually. That that really works well, doesn't it? If I go and build this along here like that, and then build down and along... Oh, no, I need to, to go and make myself a, a few more fences, and then I'll be able to, to finish that off. And then, uh, once the, the moat is filled up, I do believe uh, that the, the Castle Crumble game is 100% uh, ready, and, uh, yeah, ready to, to be played in the, the tournament. So let's go and uh, place this down here, and then I'm going to go and build it down on the, the other side. And come on, Fluffy, I let you run around. Please don't get in my way. <laughs> and uh, place that down there. There we go. Uh, this is the the drawbridge. It's a it's a very small drawbridge. I will be honest. <laughs> But it is still a, a drawbridge uh, none the, the less. All right then, uh, let's go fill up all of my buckets and uh, let's go and try and uh, fill in uh, the uh, the moat then, shall we? And oh, I'm dropping my buckets of water all over the, the place down here. Right. And let's go run over here and uh, let's go and see uh, how much of this uh, this moat uh, we, can, we can fill in. I guess if we just go and uh, place it around the, the walls like this, and uh, lucky being right next to the, the water, it's uh, very easy to, to go back and uh, fill up all of the uh, the buckets again. And uh, we can go and try and fill up the, the entire place. Okay, let's go and uh, fill up the, the rest of these buckets and go and keep placing it in. Uh, we just want to make it so it doesn't look like there's all of these, uh, these streams of water all over the place. We want to make it look like it's just uh, one uh, completely filled up lake of water uh, going uh, around the, the outside of the, the castle. Moats are normally here to try and protect castles, uh, to make it so people can't attack them. But uh, yeah, I don't know how much this uh, little stream of water is uh, going to do uh, in uh, stopping people from being able to, to attack. Uh, but yeah, and once the, the rest of the, the water's filled in, uh, that is going to be the, the minigame uh, finished. So as I said, in the, the next episode, we're going to have a, uh, a tournament uh, where I'm going to invite some of my friends in and we can go and play the, the game. Uh, but for now, uh, that's the, the end of this episode. So I want to thank you all uh, very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!